Hello everyone, this is Scott Bradley coming to you from www.scottbradley.name and in this Evernote Scott video you're going to learn two new things. The very first thing you're going to learn is how to create your own personal journal within your Evernote account so you don't have to be carrying around paper journals any longer. I find that with this feature it allows me to dump my thoughts in a very in a really efficient way and the thought of having to write out my thoughts and I don't know if you're like me but sometimes when I'm writing out my thoughts in a journal entry I'm thinking faster than I can write and I actually type faster than I can write so this one little simple setup for you is going to add a lot of value to you if you like to journal. Secondly I have a tool that I'd like to point out to you that I recently came across within the past couple of months that I think is interesting for you to possibly look into if your brain works in a more visual, interactive way. So, with that being said, let's jump right into the setup about the journal and then we'll move into the really cool thing that I just found out. So, in regards to setting up a journal, typically we all know that our journal entries, you know, go in date by date order. So, you know, we have an entry on Jan 1, Jan 5, Jan 10, whatever. And I'm going to show you how to set that setup up. So, what you're going to want to do is go up here. Again, this is the web-based Evernote.com version. Come in here. Click here this little arrow pointing down to new notebook. And I'm just going to call this journal. And then click save. And as we know, the notebook is created, and you'll see here, journals right there, and it's a blank slate. Now, typically what I highly recommend is that when you create your new note, you want the title of your note to be the date. So we're just going to go X, 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 you know, O, X, whatever. And then maybe if you want the title of the journal entry. And from that point, this allows you to completely do a word processing, whatever you need to do, you know, this is a journal entry, etc. Sign off, you know. And with that being said, you'll see that it, the title is going to always be there. And one of the things you want to make sure that you do so your entries don't get jumbled and discombobulated is to make sure that you come down here at the bottom where it says View Options. What you're going to want to do is click that and do it by date created with the newest first. And what this is going to do for you is, what, assuming that you have hundreds of journal entries here within your Evernote, um, you're always going to know that the oldest one is going to be at the bottom, and the newest one and the new ones that you create will always be on the top. So if you ever wanted to go back and reference any of your past journal entries, you could do that easily if you know, okay, this came before that, and I wrote about this before I wrote about that, and so on and so forth. So pretty much that's the journal setup that I typically use for myself if I need to get thoughts down on paper or thoughts down on a digital in a digital platform or if I'm out and about and I have my obviously I have my Evernote on my phone as well as my iPad if I want to do a journal entry if I'm in a Starbucks or if I'm in a Barnes and Noble um, this is how I do it and this is what I found to be very helpful for me um, when it comes to using Evernote as a journal so that's number one. Number two, I want to point out a tool to you that I think is very interesting. Most notably, I am a visual learner myself, even though I really can see these structures of what I've built in all the previous Evernote Scott videos on this YouTube channel. And um, if you are a visual learner that likes to click, drag, move things around, see a visual picture of what you're building in Evernote, I have just the tool for you to check out. The tool in and of itself is called Mohio Map. And if you do want to go and sign up for an account, what you need to do is just go to mo, M -O -H dot I -O, and you can go right into, and let me just confirm that here, moh.io. And it, yep, it will drive you right to Mohio Map to start and create a, um, an account. And what's really interesting about this, I'm only going to go over this briefly and probably in another video, I'm going to go deeper into the tool and the functionalities of how it works. But what's really interesting about this tool is that it really allows you to visualize your entire Evernote notebook. And what's also really interesting about it, if you do use other services such as Google Drive or Dropbox, it allows you to do the same thing. But in short, just for a brief little walkthrough here, 
Um, as you see here, it's kind of like, you know, pods and nodes is how it works. And you have, in a sense, your Evernote is broken up into different pods. So like, if you click, drag over, you'll have saved maps, join notebooks, which would be all of your shared notebooks, and then you have all of your personal notebooks. And what's interesting about this is it allows you to zoom in, zoom out, and then you'll see here that you have stacks. So, or wait, let me see, Fre um, freshman semester, no, wait, yeah. So this, in a sense, this icon is a notebook, and then this is the, let me see here, let me go back just to confirm. So yeah, freshman semester, fall, class, okay, wait, never mind. So freshman semester, spring is a notebook, or and then here's the freshman semester, fall right here, and you can just literally click, drag, and drop, and if you needed to pin something there, you can you can pin it, oh no, wait, pin it, and then once you move something else, it stays stationary. So what's interesting about this is that if you are that visual learner that likes to see things in a picture and then manipulate it as you're working with it, um, it's very cool. Another interesting thing I want to just point out in this very quick introduction to the, what this tool is, is that you literally double click it and then the notebook also spits out all of the notes within that notebook. So this is a stack, that's a notebook, here's the notes within the notebook. And then if you want to view this one note, all that you have to do is double click it, pop it up, and you just open this note in the Evernote application. Open it up, just launch it, and it actually directs and it links straight to your personal Evernote setup, which is very cool. And then if you wanted to navigate to the lecture, if you wanted to open this up on the web browser, you just click web, and there's your note right then and there for you to come in here, open it up, modify, you know, and obviously we all know that Evernote saves automatically, and we just click off, and it's done. So I think this is a really interesting tool that if you are an Evernote user, that it's worth looking into if you are that visual person that is really looking for something beyond the typical, very hierarchical structure of our Evernote accounts that we've seen in all the Evernote Scott YouTube channels here on the channel. Um, so I wanted to point that out to you as a possible tool. And more likely than not, given the fact that I love ripping apart tools that are very similar to this, I will most likely be doing a deep dive video into this one tool, highlighting all of the features, how they all work, and it's going to be a, a video that's very similar to the video on the current YouTube channel here at youtube.com forward slash Evernote Scott, where it's the, you know, the 11 amazing features that make Evernote awesome. So if you can imagine, I'm going to do a Mohio Map walkthrough video just like this video, except it's going to be mainly all, all for Mohio Map and all the features and the nice carryover between how Evernote is integrated with Mohio Map, and if you wanted to do certain things in Mohio Map that you normally do in Evernote, and you feel that Mo doing it in Mohio Map will be easier for you, um, I know that you're going to find a lot of value in that video that I'm going to create for you. So, last final thing as I sign off here, if you are interested in seeing new videos published to this channel and you want to be notified via email, all that you need to do is go to scottbradley.name forward slash Evernote tips, sign up, confirm your subscription, and we'll be good to go. So I hope you found value in this video, and I hope you go and you create your journal and start enjoying this little simple setup that I've created for you to keep track of all your journal entries, all the events in your life. And what's really great about the journal entries is that if you wanted to add pictures or links to websites, it's so easy because we literally can click, click, open, or just highlight, click, drag, drop, all that good stuff. So. I hope you found value in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. My email is evernotescott at gmail.com. And I look forward to your, the next video, and I'll see you there. Talk to you soon. Bye.